So my mom and I are having another great hunt. And then we find out that my son-in-law, Mike Carroll, has taken a nice buck that we had named Five By. All right, well, I just killed the buck we call Five By this morning. Um, after he was on the ground, I got to looking at him and I realized that it was uh, a 10 point. So never had one gain points on me, but that was pretty awesome. Uh, Brother-in-law here has got a little bit of history with this deer seeing him and uh, you even let him go, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, he's a sweet deer, man. He, uh, he almost got shot <laughs> by me too. So I think he's a great deer to shoot. Oh yeah. And uh, hopefully spread his gene a little, around a little bit and uh, we could see some more deer off of this deer and, and uh, let him grow big. And, it's gonna be a good gene to have around here. So you know, I'm looking forward to many more deer like this. Yeah, he was having uh, another eight point running around. So yeah, man, they're finally starting yeah. to move around. Unfortunately, we only got about a day left to hunt for me. And so uh, we're gonna make it happen. But we're, uh, we're after him. Yeah, this morning um, after I shot him, that doe keeps on acting crazy out there and uh, I hit my doe can a couple times just to see what would happen and nice eight point walked right under my stand so there's no telling what could happen in the next couple days you know? I just thank the Lord that he allows us to enjoy his creation and thanks to Uncle Huey for letting us come and enjoy his place and just share some good friends and family and just memories and this is a memory I'm gonna have with me a lifetime. And, um, you know, my first Georgia deer, and uh, it's just gonna be a great blessing to always hold on to. Congrats to Matt, great buck, man, great buck. Let's jump back in the stand with my mom, Carla, on her last morning's hunt. So while we're having all this action, over in the tower stand, Stephen Lane is having an incredible morning. And he's finding out just how hard it is to self-film. Well, I just uh, pulled the trigger on a nice deer. I messed up and couldn't get it on video. Don't have anybody here filming today. And uh, I was trying to catch it myself, but I couldn't. <laughs> But he's been crossing lanes. He's crossed three or four times uh, on the lanes out here in front of me. And uh, I just couldn't. He, he has a super big frame. He is, I think he is a deer that we named Nueve. Um, and uh, so I'm hoping that is him. He looks nice or maybe even if it's another deer it it looks like no heavy though so i am stoked i i had a doe um and a buck come behind me earlier and uh the wind's been blowing right back there but they didn't even care the doe took off and the buck chased her across this big open field and uh New Heavy was out here chasing another deer, another doe, and um, he chased her through the lane, and then he just completely left her and went after this doe that this buck had already chased off. And I have not, I hadn't seen that buck and that doe ever again, so I knew once he hit that trail, um, you know, that might be the last time I see him for a while. So he come out, hit it, and he was behind me, and I had the camera gear set up in front, and was having problems with my tripod. 
uh, in my holders and stuff, so I whipped around and actually ended up having to shoot lefty. But um, he jumped up in the air super high, kicked really hard, and then um, took off of the woods. I tried to get another one in him. I don't know if that second shot hit anything. It probably missed because he was running pretty fast. But um, I am pumped up right now. The ruts definitely kicked off and there is, there's bucks and does everywhere going nuts. It's been all morning. Everybody's been seeing um, lots of deer. So I'm going to go give it a little bit. And uh, I just had deer step back out in the lanes. So <laughs> just come over to where I I uh, thought I had shot him. And uh, it was hard finding it first because this is all looks the same out here. But I finally found it. It took me about 20 minutes or so, and I uh, found it, and it looks like good lung blood to me, so it should be a down buck. Um, let me flip this camera around. I'll try to be pretty quiet and just follow this trail, and, and uh, hopefully he's laying right inside these woods here, so I will take you along with me. Where were you standing when I shot him? That is all uh, blood from the exit wound. I've trailed this deer almost all the way across this field. And I'm almost to the woods. Um, it just got to where I'm seeing blood uh, coming out both sides of him now. So we got an entry and an exit. And uh, just now getting to where he's going in the woods. So I'm hoping he's laying right in here. Yes, I just found him. He was dead, not even 80 yards inside the trees. I'm so pumped. <laughs> Shoot. I gotta call, call my dad real quick. I can just see his rack sticking up over here. Biggest deer I've ever killed right here. This is awesome. I stepped on some of the blood while I was coming in here, but you can just see the blood trail going through there. I just look up through the trees here, and there he is. Dude, this is awesome. I'm so pumped up right now. I'm sorry I couldn't get it on video, but man, that's just the way it goes sometimes. And uh, part of it. But look at that rag. That's what it's all about. <laughs> that's the biggest deer I've ever killed right there. Golly! He's a stud. He is a stud, man. Look at him. Wow. I could not be more happy with this deer. He is so pretty and perfect. He is definitely going on my wall. All right. I got to call some folks and then I'll uh and then I'll hop back on the video. So Stephen Lane just shot a deer we call New Abbey. Uh, I was on another piece of property filming my mom, so I jumped in the car, heading back over here, and uh, gonna run in there. He FaceTimed me, and uh, man, New Abbey looks like a beautiful buck. So uh, let's go over here and catch up with Stephen Lane. Proud for him, man. He's hunted hard. He's passed some good deer, and uh, I can tell he's really happy with this deer, so let's jump over here and see what he's got. <laughs> tell me about it, Bubba. <laughs> yeah, literally, I forgot. This is the last day. So this is the tower stand. If y'all watch our videos, y'all saw quite a bit of action right here. Um, man, a buck named Nueve. Uh, so glad Stephen got him. Let's go look at him. <laughs> I looked up and 
Oh my word. Good night. Oh boy. Son. What a beautiful day here, dude. Oh my goodness. He's not. <laughs> yes, he is. Beautiful. Beautiful deer, dude. <laughs> I, I'm telling you, I felt like, I felt like that deer was going to be, he was going to be, when he come out, it's going to look so good. And look at that. He does. He looks really good. You can tell. I mean, he is young, but. He ain't young no more. <laughs> <laughs> We're thankful to even get the footage that we've gotten this week because it is really tough sometimes to get good footage out here. Self-filming is so tough, man. This is my biggest deer, and I could not be more happy with that deer. Beautiful it's buck, beautiful. man. And, uh, beautiful buck. I'm really happy. It's been a long week, but I've, I've got to see a lot of bucks, and it's been fun got to pass on some and uh that probably last year i would have shot yeah <laughs> and uh so you know it just gets bigger from here um i plan to put this book on my wall and that was that was the deal going into it this week was i want to shoot something i'm going to put on the wall uh, i want a whitetail mount so i've got enough european mounts it's time to put something on the wall and uh and you know now next year when we go into it it'll be what can I shoot that's bigger than this, you know? And just keep going on from there. And I believe that's how it should be sometimes. So yeah, this is a awesome place. We're so happy to get to hunt out here. Um, we will be respectful of the place and and all that uh, my cousin and uncle puts into it. And uh, so we appreciate y'all and appreciate this place. And it's time to get some good pictures now and go back and show everybody. As you can see, it's really warm. This is Mama's last eating hunt in Georgia, and uh, well, we've seen a lot of deer. And deer this morning that I don't know if we we passed it. Maybe we should have shot it, but we're gonna go give it one more shot this evening. You can tell we're hunting not far from a bunch of houses. It's about a 120 acre track. But uh, bucks were chasing does in here this morning. Now we have not seen nothing hardly in the afternoon here. But we're just going to kind of lean on some of that last evening hunt, and last few hours of the hunt, kind of luck and see if something might happen here. So we're going to jump in the stand. Yeah. 